Okay, so this is the stem, and I kid you not, it looks like I've discovered a new planet next to Mars or something. Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Tina Scope video. I am doing something a little bit different, so we're not looking at my skin or some beauty products. We're going to look at something a little bit more colourful and fun. We're looking at fruit under a microscope. Who here is a fruit lover? Because I am definitely a fruit gal. I would choose fruit as my primary snack over like a packet of chips or chocolate. Actually, maybe not chocolate. But my snack of choice would usually be fruit. I pretty much love all types of fruit, even durian. So I feel like that's like that level. And I still like durian, so I don't discriminate against fruit. So right in front of me below here, I have a plate of fruit, but I don't want to reveal to you what they are just yet. I want you guys to guess. So let's play a game, okay? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces of fruit that I'm going to show you under the microscope. And I want to see if you guys can guess what fruit we're looking at. I'll give you like mm, 15 seconds. Do you think that's enough? Yeah. That should be enough. I'll give you 15 seconds to guess what fruit is under the microscope and then I will reveal to you what it is. So let's see how many of these you get right. For the seven, let's see if you can get all of them right. Might be a bit hard though. I don't think I can even get this. Alrighty, are you guys ready for the first one? Let's see if you can guess what fruit this is under the microscope. It has lots of little seeds, and as you can see, the colour is red. I'll give you 15 seconds. I feel like it's a super easy one, okay? Who thinks they know what it is? It's a strawberry! I love strawberries. I can eat like two punnets of this by myself. So these are the little seeds on the outside, or these little tiny babies. They kind of look really weird up close. Let's have a look at the leaf on top of the strawberry. Ooh, look at that. It's a little bit furry. It's got these little hairs on them. I feel like the leaves look really cool though. Look at the patterns. Mother Nature is incredible. And let's see the stem. Ooh, that kind of looks gross, but thankfully we don't eat this part. Okay, so that wasn't so hard, right? Comment below and let me know if you guys got the first one right. I'm kind of wondering to myself now, after I look at all these fruit under the microscope, will it turn me off fruit? Hmm. Let's have a look at fruit number two. Hmm, so this one is green in colour and it has all these little spots. Can you guys guess what it is? Hmm, what is green and has these tiny little spots all over it? There's a bit of condensation on it guys because it was in the fridge. This is a pear. Did you guys get that one right? I want to have a look at the bottom of the pear because I feel like it might look a little bit crazy under the microscope. Oh my gosh, I was right. Look at that. That's just the bottom of the pear. What do you call that part? It's not the stem. It's just the bottom of the fruit. I always cut this bit out. Let's have a look at the top where the stem is. Okay, so this is the stem. It doesn't look as scary as the bottom actually. It looks quite... I don't know, standard. Let's continue, this is the next one. This one looks quite funky under the microscope actually. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is dark green in color. Here is a hint. I like eating this for breakfast on my toast with Vegemite. Hmm. I feel like that would have definitely given it away. It is an avocado. I really want to cut it up and look inside, but it's not ripe yet, so that would be a waste. But comment below if you guys like avocado. I feel like you either love it or you just like hate it. I didn't actually like avocado when I was younger, but I think when I just discovered like smashed avocado and toast, I was converted. Moving on to the next fruit. Ooh, this one looks really creepy under the microscope. Yuck. It has these little brown fibers on it. Looks like little roots growing from it. Can you guys think of a fruit that might look like this? Hmm. This is a kiwi. I want to have a look at what it looks like inside. Ooh, look at all the little seeds and the little fibers. It makes a really cool pattern actually. That's pretty cool. So that's all the little seeds inside. Now, how do you guys normally eat your kiwi? I normally cut it like this and get a spoon and scoop it out. 
but are you guys the type that would just like cut around the skin and then kind of slice it like how you would normally have it in a fruit salad? This is the next one. I feel like it's quite boring. Really not much detail to it. Maybe I'll show you the stem. That's the little stem. Here's the hint, it is quite small and you can tell that this color is quite dark, okay? There's also lighter versions of this. It's a little cherry. Let's have a look at the inside of it. I might as well just bite it. Mm, oh, sweet. This might look a little bit more interesting. Oh God, I think it looks disgusting. Sorry guys. That's the seed there, you can see the seed. And oh my God, this looks like a horror movie. I don't know, it looks like flesh and blood, sorry. I'm gonna eat it. That's my breakfast. We've got two more left. So see if you can get this one. This one is yellow, as you guys can see. It has small little dimples in it, kind of like those golf ball dimples. Now this is a fruit, but you wouldn't just like snack on this one because it could be a little bit too sour. It's a lemon. I've just sliced it open so you guys can see what it looks like inside. What is that? Oh, that's just the right in the center of this lemon. But here you can see the little pulp. And this is the lemon peel on the outside. Okay, so I've saved the most interesting looking fruit for last. It is an exotic fruit and I don't, I don't think that everyone would have eaten this. It's popular in Asian countries. Okay, there's a hint. Okay, so on the outside it is pink and has all these like fine little small dots on it. So it has some of these bits around it that have, I don't know, would I call it the leaf? I don't even know what, it, what would you call this part. It is a dragon fruit. Have you guys heard of this? Do you guys eat this? It doesn't really taste like anything. I don't know, it's just like a watery fruit. I feel like it has a similar texture to a really soft pear. I haven't had a super sweet one. Most of them kind of taste a bit bland to me. The bottom of this looks super scary. Do you guys want to see it on the microscope? Oh, this would be like the most grossest stem of all stems. Okay, so this is the stem and I kid you not, it looks like I've discovered a new planet next to Mars or something. There could be aliens on this fruit, literally. And I feel like it could be a set for a sci-fi movie right here. Let me cut this fruit open and show you guys what it looks like inside. I think I bought the red dragon fruit. We shall see when I cut it open. This is what the fruit looks like inside. It has all these like little small seeds and the color is just so intense. I feel like it matches my lip. Okay, let's have a look at this under the microscope. I feel like it kind of looks like the strawberry because it has all those seeds in it. But look at it glistening in the light. It looks really juicy. I hope it's sweet. With the seeds on this, you can just swallow them. They're just like, you know, like the little strawberry seeds on the outside. These are a little bit bigger, but yeah, you don't have to remove them because that would be like a pain in the butt to remove. So how many of those did you guys get right? Did anyone get all seven of them right? Even the last one? Be honest now, let me know your score below. I feel like that was actually really hard, especially the last one. I knew the last one would be really tricky unless you guys would have like had dragon fruit a lot. Which one was the easiest one for you guys to guess? And did you guys enjoy watching this video? I know it's not my usual beauty content, but it's kind of nice to just to branch out a little bit and do something different. So if you enjoy that and want to see more, just let me know below. Maybe I can do like plants next or like veggies or something in my fridge, I don't know. But right now I am feeling super hungry so clearly that did not turn me off fruit. Maybe I can make like a fruit salad after this or I'll just like get a spoon and eat my kiwi and my dragon fruit. Anyways, that is it to this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next under the Tinoscope. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated with these videos and feel free to follow me on Instagram at Tina underscore Yong. I will speak to you guys next time. Bye!